Hello folks, this is uh, the question of 2016, February, Mars, paper 2, 2, and the question number is 3. Uh, the first thing are the definitions, so I'm, I'm not dealing with the definitions here, so let me directly go back to the, go to the numerical part. It says, a block of mass 0 0.40 kg, 40 kg, slides in a straight line with a constant speed of 0 0.30 meter per second, so let us highlight this thing, constant speed, constant speed. Uh, uh, so the block hits a spring and decelerates, hits it and decelerates. The speed of the block becomes zero when the spring is compressed by uh, 8.0 centimeter. So this is the uh, compression of the spring. Calculate the initial kinetic energy of the block. So the kinetic energy here is equal to K is equal to 1 by 2 mv square. That will be equal to 1 by 2 into 0 0.40 into v is 0 0.30 so it's a square so the value will be ultimately turn out to be equal to uh, 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 2 joules so k is equal to 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 2 joules now in the next question let us go through the next question here next question uh, the variation of the compression x of the spring with the force f applied to the string is as shown so the more the f max increases uh, the more the compression or let us say the more the compression of the spring the more the maximum force experienced so use an answer in a b1 b1 means uh, this thing k k the value of k uh, b1 to determine the maximum force uh, f max exerted on the spring by the block so what happens here is when this thing compresses when this thing compresses and it is at rest it comes to rest at that time at that time there is a decrease in kinetic energy energy which is changed into the maximum potential energy there there is a decrease in ke which is changed to the maximum pe at that instant so which means it will be equal to so ke initial minus uh, zero zero is the last ke is equal to is equal to the potential energy stored in the spring is equal to equal to uh, initially it was uh, it, it was zero uh, but later it becomes one by two f max into f max into extension one by two f max into extension so 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 from here the value of f max will be equal to or f max should be equal to this zero is not counted so it is two k e initial initial by this x and that is equal to 2 into the ke initial is as given from here it is 1.8 into 10 power minus 2 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole divided x is the is the uh, compression here which is 8 centimeter and 8 centimeter is equal to 0 0.080 meters so the value comes to be if I do the calculations here, the value comes to be comes to, comes to be equal to 0 0.45 Newton. So F max is equal to 0 0.45 Newton. Newton. Now, the next question asks us calculate the maximum deceleration of the block. So the value of deceleration is equal to this force max, this force max divided by the mass of the body there, mass of the body and that is equal to 0 0.45 is its value and the mass of the body is as given here it is 0 0.40 kg mass of the body 0 0.40 kg so it is 0 0.40 then 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 the value will turn out to be equal to 1.1 meter per second square so it is 1.1 meter per second square now question number four Stirling explain uh, whether the block is in equilibrium before it hits the spring. So before it hits the spring, it was traveling at a constant speed. So constant speed means that if the speed is constant, constant speed means, constant speed means, means resultant force zero, resultant force equal to zero. So, so the block so the, so the block is in equilibrium. Block is in equilibrium. Equilibrium. So single L here. 
Now, when its speed becomes zero, so when it strikes here, strikes here, and the speed becomes zero, at that time it is experiencing experiencing maximum force. When it is being compressed like this, it is experiencing maximum force. So that's why, at a zero speed, at a zero speed, zero speed, the compression is maximum. The compression is maximum, maximum. So force also is maximum. Force also is max, is max. So no equilibrium. So no equilibrium. So though it is at rest, the thing is not in equilibrium at all. So slightly confusing. Initially it was moving. The moving body was in equilibrium. Now it's at rest, but it is not in equilibrium anymore. Now the next part. The energy is stored in a spring is given by this thing where k is the spring constant f the spring and x is the compression the mass m of the block in b is varied so we now strike it with different masses mass varied means we will strike it now with different masses the initial speed of the block remains constant and the spring continues to obey hooke's law we have to now sketch the variation of this uh, maximum compression along with mass so what we have here is uh, as you have done so this uh, e is equal to 1 by 2 kx square and it comes from the kinetic energy which is equal to 1 by 2 mv square mv square so the maximum this thing is equal to so our equation is somewhat like this now what i can do here is so this half and half goes so x naught square is equal to v square by k and this m so it is a constant thing and x naught is equal to root of v square by k into root of m so that means x naught is proportional to root of m so that means the graph will now be a parabolic graph the graph will now be a parabolic graph and the parabola should have should have decreasing slope so it's like this so from here it rises like this and then somewhat like this like this like this like, like this. so it's a parabolic graph so its slope goes on decreasing like this because of the format for, of the equation relation between them is somewhat like this so this solves all the questions of this problem.